The Rheinflugzeugbau RW3 Multiplan was a German two-seat light aircraft distinguished by its pusher configuration and innovative aerodynamic design. The concept originated with Hanno Fischer, an engineer who founded Rheinvest Fischer in 1955 to develop his ideas about aircraft stability and airflow efficiency. His experimental model, the FIBO 2A, tested the unusual tail-mounted pusher propeller layout where the engine was buried inside the fuselage and the propeller operated within a vertical slot between the fin and rudder. Building on this success, Fisher completed the prototype RW3A Multiplan, DEs, in 1956. The aircraft featured a high aspect ratio mid-wing, a retractable tricycle landing gear, and a T-tail configuration. Its 65-horsepower Porsche 6780 four-cylinder engine provided propulsion through a rear-mounted pusher propeller. The tandem cockpit, enclosed by a long bubble canopy, offered dual controls for training or private operation. Production began under license with Rheinflugzeugbau Gesellschaft mit beschränkter Haftung in Krefeld, Erdingen. The first production aircraft, RW3.75, powered by a 75-horsepower Porsche 784, made its maiden flight on the 8th of February 1958. Between 1958 and 1961, 22 aircraft were completed, while three more were left unfinished. Two upgraded RW3C90 Passat variants with Lycoming O320 engines were built in 1960. Optional wingtip extensions increased the wingspan from 10.59 meters, approximately 34.7 feet, to 15.45 meters, about 50.7 feet, allowing the Multiplan to perform as a motor glider. The RW3 attracted private owners across Germany, Sweden, Brazil, Mexico, Japan, and Spain. Despite its limited production, the aircraft earned admiration for its efficiency and advanced aerodynamics. By the late 1990s, only two original Multiplans, DECOM and DEFUP, remained airworthy. A replica, DIF, continues to fly today and is also exhibited in the Deutsches Technik Museum in Berlin. The RW3 Multiplan stands as a remarkable example of post-war German innovation, blending unconventional engineering with elegant design. Though produced in small numbers, it remains a symbol of experimental aviation and creative aerodynamic thinking.